those are all armored zombies. Never mind. Okay, episode one for you guys. Let's get swarmed by zombies. Come on, come on, get off my car, get off my car, get off my car. Please get off my car. Please get off my car. They ripped the door off. They ripped the door off. We get to have fun here. I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies see the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can hold it up. I am the ballad in your box, the bullet in the gun, the inner glow that lets you know to call your brother son. The story that we begun, the promise of what's to come, and I will remain a soldier to the war. Come on, come on. Jump, jump, jump. Alright, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm recording this literally seconds after I recorded. Y'all are gonna hate me for this. So, as you can tell, it's episode one, State of Decay. We're gonna go in, and I just wanted to start recording before we started selecting our members for the community. New community, yes. Skip tutorial, yes. We don't do no tutorials. All right, Providence Ridge, Cascade Hills, Meager Valley, Drucker County. Last time we were recording Providence Ridge, honestly, I don't like Providence Ridge just because the starter base is complete ass. Like, it's, it forces you to move because you don't have all the spaces you need there. I'm going to take a chance here. We're going to roll random. And they just updated the game. They made a green zone. So basically, here's what it is. You got a green zone for people who suck at the game. You got a standard zone, which is normal. This is the default before a green zone. So this is for people just playing the game this is for people who this is the equivalent of minecraft peaceful mode i think i don't know i've never played on it then you've got like i said standard zone she's kind of thick look at that then you got the dread zone which is what i play on and then you got nightmare zone for psychopaths i am not a psychopath and i will not play on a nightmare zone the nightmare and in my opinion nightmare is for people who like being punished that is a lifelong punishment for those of you who play on nightmare I don't know why you would ever want to do that, but shit, some people do. Alright, here's the thing. These are boons. A boon is something that you unlock after completing a story mode um, on this certain di- or What the hell? On a certain difficulty. And you get shit. For example, you get like added bonuses, things like that. Things like- oh, Jesus Christ. Things like that for your community. So, for example, you got charity and favors. Charity is provided by Sheriff, Legacy on Dread Zone. Receive a pile of high quality loot from old friends once a day. Not very good, but you know, I did do the Sheriff story mode. And then the uh, trader, Legacy. Receive a visit from a friendly trader and 4,000 influence after you sell your first base. We're not going to be using either of these just because we're going to treat it like the first time we've ever played. So. We're gonna start off with no boons, and this is where it gets interesting. So I do have some old survivors from um, old places. No, I'm not going to be using them because that would be busted. We're gonna start off with our own people. So fill out random survivors. Getting people in this game that you like is hard to do. D bomb, nigga. <laughs> I'm keeping him. If not for his skills, which are actually pretty good, I'm, I'm keeping him just because this nigga's name is D-Bomb. That is hilarious. Okay, so he doesn't have a skill at the bottom. So I guess for those of you who don't know how the game works, I'll kind of teach you what I know so far. So if you look, there are four skills. If you look at the bottom, there isn't a skill down there, but here there is. If there's only one star at the bottom skill, it's trash. If there aren't seven stars, it's trash. It should always be seven stars at the bottom or else never pick that person. So, these skills are regarded as basic skills that everybody should have. The bottom, you see right there, is cooking, music, trash, utilities, cooking again, medicine. I always try to have somebody with medicine. Um, let's see, law, fishing. Okay, and people who don't have a skill at the bottom, they can be taught a skill. The way you can do that in the game is by finding a, um, a book. It's kind of stupid, but that's how it works. You find a book and you like teach them how to use shit. I don't know. That's how it works. The mechanic has nightmares. And what I'm looking at right now is underneath the traits section. If they have garbage traits, don't, don't grab them. Like if it sounds bad, 
don't grab them. Like, in morning, I know that's going to be a, a morale penalty. But things like Generous and Hard to Kill. Hard to Kill is a physical plus. Generous is a morale plus. In morning is a morale penalty. Ready for, ready for anything is a physical plus. So I'm trying to find people who don't have morale penalties or physical penalties. Like this guy right here. He has Workaholic. That is an efficiency plus. I mean, by efficiency, like building shit. Like base shit. I don't know. Let's try and get a girl. Not her because she's trash. Let's get a girl in here so we can at least have one. It would have been nice to have somebody in medicine. If we could find a girl that's in medicine, that would be ideal. But I'm just going to take the first one that I find that's good. There we go. Hiker took a gap year. What? Okay, I don't know what that is. Sawbones. Hopefully Sawbones isn't bad. If it is, I'll just leave it. But that, those are our three people, and I forgot to look at the name of that girl. But so far, we've got D-Bomb and McFarlane, so let's see how this works out for us. And trust me, I'm not calling him by his name at all. I'm going to call him D-Bomb the entire way through this series. I promise you that. And we're empty again. So, whose turn is it to find more fuel? Not me. Last time I took a wrong turn and almost got lost. I have a better idea. getting lost. Look at this dude's face. Here, of he doesn't home. look trustworthy. I gotta say, it looks better than the last couple of towns we came through. All right, let me turn up my game volume a little bit. Now that you mention it, it does feel kind of homey. It does feel kind of homey. All right, we're skipping this. It's settled. This. It's settled. This is where we'll make our make our new base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard it like a thousand times before. Okay. So, a new home. Our objective right now is claim a home for a community of survivors. I said of, of survivors. The just to know house is close and affordable. Affordable? Who the hell are you paying? Everyone's dead, and I guess that's new. It shows you where all the play guards are automatically now. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is when you get into your game, you're gonna wanna look at everybody's skills. So right here, his hero bonus is constant routine. That's plus one labor. Hers is give people space. That's plus three morale. And his is garbage. And then the next thing you wanna look at is this, the traits. So how do your traits affect your people? Hard to kill makes him harder to kill. Honestly, that's pretty much it. It's more health and less injury severity. Generous. Okay, Sawbones wasn't negative. That's good. Hiker gives her morale bonus from outdoor beds, facilities, and then Workaholic gives plus one labor and furniture adjuster is plus their morale. Last thing you're going to want to look at, you're going to go back to the standing and look at the bottom. So leadership, he's a traitor. Leadership, Sheriff, Leadership, Traitor. Alright, well, shit. I was hoping we can get a Warlord, but maybe we'll pick up a Warlord later. These places will be our last. Where's the fun in playing and safe? Alright. So, the way that I'm going to plan on doing this series, I'm gonna, like, cut out a majority of the looting. Um, let me know. This will be heavily impacted by you guys' opinions. Let me know if you want the looting to be in the videos, because pretty much, honestly, it's literally just me running around collecting stuff, ah, putting it in a truck, and driving back to my base. But I will be talking the entire time, just in case you guys want me to keep it in. But, like I said, if you guys don't want it to be in the video, because it is, it is a lot of me just, like I said, running around and picking shit up and running back to my base, then let me know. Alright, come on. Nothing more to find here. Let's go. Honestly, when you're searching in this game, it's it's smart to do it slow. So literally, just hold Y. But me being impatient as hell, I won't do that. I will always do a fast search. And the problem with my impatience is if you do that, there is a chance that... These niggas are stupid. There is a chance that uh, you can mess up and make noise and attract zombies. The reason I called them stupid is because literally in the cutscene they said there's no gas in the car. I opened the back of the damn car and there's a gas can. Stupid idiots. Oh, they increased the speed at which you put gas in the car. I appreciate that very much. I'm, I'm amazed that they still update this game. This game is old. Like a year. 
I said old like it was older than a year. Shadow of War is old. It's been out for like two and a half years now, and I'm still playing this shit like every day. All right, let's park right here. As you can see, I'm an expert at parking. Don't have my driver's license yet, but I do have my permit. If you see me on the road, run. Drive away very, very fast. Not a good idea to drive near me. That's fair though, I'm 17 and I'm just starting to drive. Don't, don't, uh, don't roast me, please. And you just got bit. All right, so the way this game works, no, you don't turn if you get bit. That'd be kind of busted because zombies love biting you. And I will definitely get bit 600 times during this series, but, nigga, what? Die. But, there are plague zombies in this game, there are bloaters, there are ferals, juggernauts, different types of zombies, and they're all toxic in their own ways. For instance, some of them like hiding in corners like that. I didn't even see it. It was in there though. I don't like the way that they just like to hide it's toxic I don't think there's anybody upstairs there's never anybody in this Brainless room are gone, so there it's we go. time for us to claim this place and move in all right a small but easily defensible home with enough space as a support to support a small community so let's just look at it right here this base offers I can't even see it so let's just buy it okay so hold up Look at this. The facilities that we have right now are a chef's kitchen, a master bedroom, double bunk room, trash which is clearable, two parking spaces, and then two small outdoor slots. This is where the specificity, specificity, I don't, whatever word I'm trying to figure out, it's just imagine like the, um, the intricate part of the game is. So this is where the intricate, intricate part of the game is. Remember earlier when we went in here and we looked at their leaders, their leadership uh, status, I guess you could say. He's a traitor, she's a sheriff, and he's a traitor. Alright, so when you go into your base layout, you need to build things that favor the, the type, you could say, that your people um, represent. So we have two traitors and a sheriff. So traders get a morale bonus from gardens and get a morale penalty if you don't have them. Same thing for a sheriff. Morale bonus for an infirmary, morale penalty for not having one. And it doesn't actually tell you this anywhere, you just kind of learn it. When your morale drops through the floor, it'll tell you at that point, but it won't tell you before. So that's, that's kind of stupid, but that's how I learned. One of the times I was playing the game, just morale shot through the damn floor. And I was like, what the hell happened? But there we go. We put in the rucksacks that we got. So now we have food. We have ammo. No, we don't have ammo. We have food. We have meds. We have building materials, but not really. We have no gas and no ammo. So what I'm going to do right now is optional. Use survey points to search as the Eastman billboard to scout for a location with materials. I read like a robot, I'm sorry. And scavenge a nearby site for a rucksack of materials, cool. So the survey point that it's talking about is right here, this big ass tower that you can fall off of very easily. I'm gonna go ahead and climb this really quick. And then we're gonna search this area for, just because I can't get any feedback yet because this is the first episode, I'm gonna leave all the scavenging in. But like I said, if you guys don't want to see all the scavenging, comment on this video saying, hey, cut the scavenging out of the video and just like get to the main points of the video. Or if you don't mind, just say nothing or tell me to leave it in so I have your opinion anyway. But whatever y'all say, I appreciate the feedback. Alright, top of the survey point, let's look around. Abandoned tanker, we can get gas from there. Abandoned clinic, that's a military checkpoint, we are definitely hitting that up later. That's moving, that's a horde. Yep, shit ton of stores over here. I think we can get that baby up and on the road. Repair van, we're gonna pay that a visit later. That's a gun shop, we are paying that a visit this episode. All right, we got all the sites surveyed. Let's head back down, and there's one other thing, uh, actually, shit, it's probably up here. There's one other thing that we need to search, and it's usually, yep, right there. I almost played myself, because I'm an idiot. What is that? Light bolts, okay. 
The thing about bolts, they can only be used for crossbows, obviously. I thought at first crossbows were cool, because I was comparing it to how Daryl is from The Walking Dead, but it's not really... I mean, I guess it is like that, but I don't like it. Like, a crossbow will get you killed. I would much rather have a crossbow than nothing, but I would much rather have a gun than a crossbow. And I know crossbows make virtually no noise, and guns make a shit ton of noise, but I would I would feel so much safer with a gun than a crossbow. Also, if you're wondering what that sound was, that's the penalty for um, if you mess up doing a fast search, which technically the player has no control over whether they mess up or not. During a fast search, I just, I don't do slow searches again because of my impatience. So you're going to see a lot of that messing up um, animation and noise. Alright, let's put all of this in the car. Fireworks don't work. I don't know why I'm collecting them. The difficulty that I'm playing on right now, which is a dread zone, for those of y'all that may have forgotten. Distractions, such as flares, fireworks, stuff like that, doesn't work. I don't know why it's still in the game. It's not very useful, but they don't really do anything anymore. Water cooler and a weapon. We're taking those, put those in the car, and we're going to head back. Return home with the materials you found. This game has a subtle hint of realism to it, to the point where it matters how much weight you're carrying on you. So, utility... Use... Hold on facility mods that's what i just picked up a water cooler counts as a facility mod and all facility mods are 20 pounds 20 pounds is a lot and so whoa what is that oh that is cool they updated the menu okay so here's your inventory here's the character stats so the character stats is no longer okay it's still down pad but what does up pad do the same thing Okay, so I'm actually gr glad that they did that. This gives you access to the menu from... I like that. I appreciate that. Alright. Let's put that in there. All of this in there. Either a workshop or an infirmary would be a good place to start. What I'm doing when you guys see me doing this is I'm just taking the stuff from my inventory or the truck and I'm putting it in my, uh, my base's inventory. So, upgrade your base by building a new facility. Let's get inside before we start doing this. Because I don't want to be attacked while I'm in the menu. Alright, so like I said, we have two traders and a sheriff. But first, let's go ahead and clear this trash out. Where is, where's the trash? It's in the back. No, I don't have to physically be near it. You just do it from the, um, the menu. So, obviously, one of the people who works at the base or lives here is going to come up to it and clear it out. Get some new faces around here. Or just stare at it and complain about how lonely it is. That's cool. Just stare at the trash. It'll get rid of itself. I don't know why we haven't been doing that for years. How much time is left on that? 20 seconds? Okay, so while that's happening, I'm going to send somebody to go and repair the bed facility, which gives us a morale bonus. I was about to say penalty. Morale bonus. And we will wait patiently. There we go. The trash was cleared. So now we have three slots available. We have this slot right here, which is the front, and then these two in the back. This is apparently the back. So, what I'm going to do with this... I'm going to... We have materials, right? We have eight. That's barely any, but you know what? Whatever. So, what is our current objective? Upgrade your base by building a new facility. Oh, so you don't have to build a specific facility anymore. In the early stages of the game, or like even before last update, you had to build either a workshop or a um, an infirmary. Now you can build whatever you want. I like that too. We're going to have a... Wa no, we don't need a watchtower. We don't have a builder. Okay, so let's put the garden right here putting the garden right here glad we've already got a start on building this base up into something real and we are back now to one material early game is toxic as shit but later on it, it gets better we i promise over here and you're the best folks for the job so i'm on the way 
bitch just said so like she she expected me to come and help her technically i am i don't have to i just will because for the sake of the series but later on i i will get much more um unforgiving of people's tones toward me in this game so if they expect me to help them i won't <laughs> if they demand shit of me i won't give them shit you better come correct or you are going to die alone actually hold up there's a military outpost right here. I want to check this for guns. And armored zombies, of course. Why not? Please die. There we go. Hopefully we can find an AR here. I don't know. Most of the time, you just find, like, heavy-duty rifles here. Which is not really what I'm looking for, I but... not supposed to do that? I will take whatever I can get. Including cups of coffee for some reason. Yes, because that's what we keep at military outposts. That's nice. Light bolts? Ish. No, dude. Where the guns at? There we go. Gun. Get back. You're not slick. I missed. I'm trash. I'm trash. It's official. I'm bad at the game. Dude, die. There we go. That shot was so off. I need redemption. Here, watch this. There we go. I'm satisfied now. Alright, so let me go over one more thing with y'all for right now. Each character has... I don't even know why I'm going in that that menu. This way's faster. Alright, the garden's done. So each character, like I said, has these little... Um, not even traits. Skills. Everybody has cardio, wits, fighting, and shooting as a base skill. And then medicine is just this person in particular. Everybody's fifth skill varies. Or maybe they don't have one, but it varies when you get one or have one when you start off the game. So... There are seven stars. Once you get up to the seventh star, then you go into the yellow stars, with a, which are the prestige stars. And then the name of that skill will change into something. So for instance, say I get my fighting all the way to seven, and then it turns into a prestige skill. I can choose between different prestiges. So say I want to go into sword play, which increases damage with, um, what is it, sharp weapons? There you go. You can increase your damage with sharp weapons. So it depends on your player's traits, which we were looking at when we started the game, and how you use your um, time gaining those skills. So this game is actually very technical. It matters what you do and how you act all the time, which gets annoying sometimes. But I like the, um, the I was going to say uniqueness. I like the... Uh, amount of thought that has to go into what you do in a game. Hey there. Ash, our supply of play examples has run low. If you can find more, we have fuel to trade. Thank you. I think we can handle that. Got gotcha. you. Like I don't have a big ass bag of fuel on my back, but that's cool. That's I didn't even notice that. Okay, so in the previous update, they didn't give you shit for um for giving them play examples. Now apparently they're willing to give me fuel for it. I like that too. Like this is a good way to make friends. There's a play guard to my right. You can tell by that red gas. And by that big ass red marker on my map. Obtain play examples. There's two of them right here. What the hell? We're looting this gun store first. Plus I can get play examples from anywhere. Anywhere meaning killing plague zombies. You drop a sample? Nope. Alright, let's go inside. What I'm looking for specifically right now is a shotgun. Because what I want to do before we end off episode one is I want to, there we go, bigger gun. I want to up, I was going to say update. I want to um, outfit every survivor at our base, which right now is only three, but later it will increase. I want to outfit every survivor with at least one gun bullets bandage we're not taking that firework let's load the truck up and come back inside because there's more shit that we need to loot all right what are we gonna drop in here the gun the ammo for that gun and then all that shit hopefully we have enough inventory space for this when did y'all niggas get here i'm pretty sure i cleared this bitch out well, this is the perfect time to get into this. You see that little uh, bar that just popped up when that zombie hit me right above my mini-map? 
when that bar fills up, I will officially have blood plague. Blood pay. What the hell? Blood plague will kill you over time. I think it's like 10 or 30 minutes. But um, you can only get blood plague when plague zombies hit you. And plague zombies are the red bastards. Well, we so, avoid getting find. hit by plague zombies at all times. And if you get bit by them, that bar goes up fast as shit, I promise you. Don't don't let them bite you. I was hoping we'd have more company. Alright, so we looted this place. Let's head over to the plague hearts. And start taking that out. Not even the plague heart. Let's just take out plague zombies. I'm not outfitted for that. Good night, bitch. You gonna give me something I want, or are you gonna be stingy? I said stingy. Are you gonna be stingy? Alright, so, I might as well tell you now. My accuracy is garbage. I feel like it's fair for you to know that. I don't have, um... The shit I need to take out the plague heart yet, so we're just gonna leave that alone for right now. Come on. You failed. Give me a plague sample, please. Nobody else has. I just want a plague sample. That's it. I want two plague samples. That is literally it. Looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Where's the play guard? I didn't want to do this and I still technically don't. I just want to get plague samples from the zombies. Because this is way faster, but apparently not. Come on. Yes, there we go. How many is that? That's one. We'll take it. We need one more. Here they go. Here they are. Here they are. Accuracy is trash, like I said. It's trash sometimes. Sometimes I impress myself, but it's trash most of the time. We need one more, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep, trash. I don't like the way that they are running zigzags sometimes. I feel like they know that I'm trying to shoot them, and they don't want that to happen. I can't let that screamer bring a whole party over. Where? Where is it? Where is the... There it is. Alright, so, for the video's sake, I'm just gonna show you what they do. This is a screamer, and this is what they do. Shocker! They scream! Shut the f*** up. Alright, so, screamers cannot physically attack you, but what they do is they walk around and they scream. And the problem with that is, it attracts a shit ton of zombies. Not a normal amount, not a small amount, a shit ton. For no reason. Now I assume it's only a small amount right now because I just started the game and it's day one or day two. But later on, the, the amount of zombies that Screamers pull in is ridiculous. I just need one more. Come on, it's, it's damn near nighttime. I've been out here for like four minutes. Maybe even five. You know what? <laughs> I know how to draw in plague zombies. You attack the plague art. Yes, I know that. But the plague zombies are gonna wanna come and stop me from doing this. And when they do, I'm gonna kill them. There's one. Try to sneak up on me, dickhead. Okay, back up. When the plague art does that little thing that it just did, it's about to shoot out gas. And what gas does is it limits how high your um, health bar can go in your stamina bar. There we go. Thank you. Let's call that good enough. Was it that hard? Don't make noise. Hopefully you won't attract them. Too late. They're already coming. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Hello. I want to talk to you really quick. Here you go. Play examples. There you go. Examples. I can make something that'll cure blood plague if one of us gets infected. Excellent. <laughs> Why are you guys out here? Shit. Okay after all. Come on, come on, come on. Take care. Yep. Seriously. Garbage accuracy kicking in. Garbage accuracy kicking in. Y'all are gonna see this a lot during this series. I cannot shoot for the life of me. Uh, which one of you is not a zombie? That one. I shot the person. That's cool. You see, thank God you can't kill survivors just by shooting at them. You have to, like, initiate a fight, which is hilarious to me. You gotta lit- I'm, I'm dead serious about this. I'm not even joking. You gotta go up to them and be like, I want to start a fight with you. You don't say that literally, but it's, you basically say that. You're like, you guys better get the hell out of here before I shoot one of you. 
and then it like initiates a fight, it's the funniest shit ever. I might do it later, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I don't wanna like piss off my neighbors. They're the only um, helpful people that we have around right now that don't wanna kill us. Cause the zombies definitely don't feel that way. All right, so we just picked up ammo and gasoline or um, fuel, whatever. So let me get a second just to assess my ammo situation. Okay. So. Anybody ever read that book about Eagle Eye, the army sniper in Afghanistan? He grew up around here, and I bet someone with his skills is still alive. We should try to find him. Shut up, D-bomb. Good idea. No, it's not. All right, so we have, we're good on food, meds, we're good on ammo, we have garbage materials right now, and we're good on fuel. So let's go ahead and grab some more materials. We can go ahead and grab it from there. And the way I can tell where to grab shit is because it says potential resources up at the top, right underneath the name of the place. So it's unfinished house and then potential resources. That is a picture of materials. We are gonna go over there really quick. Am I standing? So, you see that yellow bar right there? I'm explain. It's not going to be like this whole series. just the first episode to get everybody acquainted with the game. That yellow bar is like experience for a given character. So, this person has none. This person has none. You can only get that yellow bar up by playing as a character. And once it gets all the way up, you unlock that hero bonus. And then you um, are eligible to become the leader. Now... You can only select one leader per playthrough, so if your leader is selected and you want to change your leader, you can't. There's no way to do that. Um, there is actually two ways that you can change your leader that I'm aware of, but none of them are good. One, you could banish the person that you chose to be the leader from the group, which makes the leader spot available. Or you could um, kill them. And by kill them, I mean get them killed since you can't fight with your own um, group. So I guess you just play as that person and go get them killed by like sitting there and let zombies kill you. Again, not a favorable option. So it just goes to show that you should be careful of who you choose. Because switching is not very easy. Come on, search before she hits me. There we go. All right, we got a rucksack of materials. No ammo, shit. I'm not gonna hear a zombie behind me. Come on, come on, come on. Try it, try it, try me. Nope. They love biting you when you're attacking other zombies. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. It's toxic as shit. I feel like they prioritize biting you when you're fighting other zombies. I'm not gonna find anything else here. That's more materials. All right. So you can only carry one rucksack at a time in this game. I'm going to put this one back in the car and grab the one inside. I should reload. I seriously didn't reload. It. Get back. I got them both with one shot. Don't sleep on me ever again. Give me that and let's get the hell out of here. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am. See, I told you, sometimes I'm a damn good shot, but other times I'm literal trash. Absolute garbage. And I can't control it either, it's random. It is random when I'm trashing and, and not trash. It's not my fault though. I blame it on the game. Let's head back, drop the materials off, build our next facility, and then we're gonna go back out. Come on, park. A plus parking, I know. I'm good at this shit. Put these both inside. Alright, next we are going to make a, an infirmary. How many materials we have left? Seven. We can make one more place. One more, um, out, I was about to say outpost. Idiots. One more thing. So, let me just show you guys the different things that we can build. There are, there's a workshop, a kitchen, a staging area, forge, auto shop, and let me go over what they do. You can build, um, equipment here food obviously a staging area is kind of like it reduces the maintenance of uh what's it called facilities basically it takes materials to maintain a facility 
it's stupid, but it's kind of realistic, I guess. A staging area gets rid of the um, maintenance cost. Forge, make weapons. Auto shop, make cars. All right, here we go. Beds, beds, sleeping. Infirmary, healing people up. Barracks, sleeping. Garden, food, and meds. Still is um, liquor, which is good for selling. For influence, a farm, food, and meds. Hy hydroponics is food and meds. All right, fighting gym, a shooting range, and a latrine. These two are for um, training your skills. This one is for morale, and a lounge is for morale. These are all defense and utilities. So water, power, defense. Uh, what is that? Power. These are leader projects. The only leader project... Uh, actually, I don't even know what storyline we're going to take. So let me go over the four of them. Armory is for the warlord. Makes you... Or lets you make weapons. Or um, ammo for guns. Sniper tower is for the builder. It provides extra security. And lowers the zombie threat in the area. You can see, bottom left, that is the threat level of a zombie attack. Right now, we are in yellow, which is not good. To the right, we got a field hospital, which is for the sheriff. Basically, it's a better version of a hospital or a better version of a um, infirmary. And then a trade depot for the trader. You can call traders in and trade with them on the spot. I don't know what any of these are or what they do because I've never been able to build them and I don't know how the hell to build them, but you know what? I'll, I'll get to it eventually. But like I said, them little uh, tutorial talks, I know they're kind of boring. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe you guys like them, maybe you don't. Personally, they're kind of boring to me, but the little tutorial talks are probably going to be done by uh, either the end of this episode or episode two. I'm going to try and not do them as often, or I just get them over with, but either way, I don't want to do them through the whole series. Locked up tight. Lock doors! Only way to get inside, barge in. Shocker, shocker, Hopefully doing that attracts said. zombies. I see you. Get back. Garbage accuracy is back on the scene, guys. Get back. Try it. Come on. Come on. I got bullets for all of you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's fall. Oh, shit. Those are all armored zombies. Never mind. Okay. Episode one for you guys. Let's get swarmed by zombies. Come on. Come on. Get off my car. Get off my car. Get off my car. Please get off my car. Please get off my car. They ripped the door off. They ripped the door off. We get to have fun here. They ripped the door off my car. Well then. Let's put that inside. This is a facility mod we picked up. Pallet storage solution. A set of sturdy wooden pallets helps us keep our building materials organized. Install this mod to increase material storage. That's actually good. Let's keep that. All right, is there anything else we can build right now? Let's do a watchtower. Therefore, if we pick up a builder somewhere, we will have maximum morale bonus from the uh, facilities. And I'd like for us to do at least one mission during episode one so we can say we did something productive. So let's switch over to D-Bomb. So now we are playing as a different character after I upgrade the skill. So like I said earlier on in the game, or in the video, I leveled up my cardio to seven star and we're about to go in pr to prestige. Now the game will always automatically suggest one, but you can choose whatever you like. So, backpacking, major increase to carrying capacity, or marathon, sprinting costs less stamina and fatigue or cruise more slowly. Um... I'm going to do backpacking just because it suggested it. So we get more stamina, more carrying capacity. And now I'm going to switch over to D-Bomb. That pistol from earlier, I'm going to go pick that up from the group storage. And let's get started. Oh, okay. there's two pistols. Farm. Hopefully, I'll be coming home with a new sniper for the team. How far is this place? Across the map. That's cool. We get to have fun. All right. Maybe we can find a gas station on the way, but... As of right now, we're going to have to refuel before we get there. I'm going to cut the driving part out. All right, here we are. I didn't even have to refuel before we got here, so we actually still have that gas tank in the back. If I didn't screw up the directions, I should be close. Here we go. All right, what do we have here? 
Of course. I'm not so effective with the sneaking. 50 AP rounds. Okay, so AP rounds are um, rounds for heavy weapons, like a like a very heavy sniper rifle, which are very good for taking out play guards. But since we don't have one, and I'm pretty sure the mission just wants them to pick them pick them up. No rifle. Sorry to hear that. I guess Eagle Eye didn't make it. I'm not so sure. If his rifle's gone. He might still be out there. Grenades. Taking those. We just spotted zombies shambling toward base. Shouldn't be a problem though. All right. So I think we're gonna do the zombie defense real quick, and then I'll end the episode off after that. All right, we're back home. Um, on my way here, I may have crashed into a fence post and lost the other door of my car and broke my windshield, but that's cool. We're fine. Everything's good. I know this looks bad. Oh wait, no shit. I have to empty off. the car first. Give me a second. Give me a second. Don't start the shit yet. Empty all of that into the storage. Empty all of this into the storage. Them grenades right there and the flashbangs, very helpful for taking out play guards. Very helpful. It makes quick work of them shits. All right, let's switch over to McFarlane. Since he does not have a range weapon, we are gonna give him the crossbow. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's outside. Yes, I know we're under attack. I sped the hell back here. There's a gun, but we're gonna use a crossbow anyway. All right, where are they at? Early game, these uh, attacks aren't so bad. You'll probably get like 15 zombies at most. But late game, you'll probably get like 20, 30. And no, I don't play this game with stealth. I don't think I play any game rationally, actually. I think that's like a personality thing. Like, I don't like stealth because it's too slow. Of course, of course. Let me just get beat. Oh my god. Get, get back here. Actually, I think it's just stealth games. But I promise you, any game that I play that requires stealth or suggests stealth, I will not use it. That is simply because I am impatient as hell. I don't know. For example, Shadow War, I use stealth very rarely. We made it. Um, what else? State of Decay, I don't use stealth. Because you can. You can, like, crouch and stealth attack zombies. I don't do that. What other games do I not use stealth in? Far Cry 5. <laughs> stealth is a joke to me on Far Cry. Actually, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Let me take that back. I am a god at stealth on Far Cry 5. I do not want to be slept on. Season 2 of Far Cry 5, my stealth is, is off the charts. But anyway, that's enough about Far Cry 5. Um... We're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I don't think we have anything. Nope, okay, we don't. We'll talk about that episode too. But let me know how you guys liked episode one. Again, I apologize for rebooting the series again. I promise you guys that it's not going to happen again for this series. Um, I'm going to prioritize getting these uh, videos out. And hopefully this series or just this season of the series, if we do multiple seasons, will be done by the end of the uh, next week or a week and a half but let me know how you like the video like i said appreciate y'all for watching subscribe if you are not already hit the bell notification so you know when i drop new videos and i will see y'all on the next episode i can say that now because this is episode one the next one's episode you already know all right i'll see y'all later